The main purpose of sizing warp yarns is to encapsulate the yarn with a protective coating. This protective coating will reduce yarn abrasion that takes place during the weaving operation. The size also reduces yarn hairiness, preventing adjacent yarns from entangling with one another at the weaving machine. For many years, native starches, or slightly modified starches with other binders, were regarded as the most economical way to size indigo warps. The change to garment wash denims led to new sizing recipes. The type of size used and its quantity will be determined by the finishing operations, whether the product is loom state denim or mill finish denim. On the starting end of the sizing range, the section beams are creeled. From the creeled beams, the yarns from each beam are then pulled over rollers and combined with the yarns from the other beams in the creel to form multiple sheets of yarn. The number of sheets corresponds to the number of size boxes used on the slasher. Usually, there are no more than two size boxes on a denim slasher. As each yarn sheet enters a size box, the yarns are submerged into the liquid size. The yarn sheet then leaves the size box through a set of squeeze rolls, which control the amount of wet pickup the yarns have. Most warp yarns for weaving denim will have from 8 to 16 percent size add-on. Too much size will cause yarn chafing and excessive shedding of size particles during the weaving process. Too little size will cause excessive yarn abrasion, clinging and entangled ends, and low weaving efficiencies. Yarn abrasion can result in the indigo dye being scraped off the yarn. This results in the affected yarns washing down to different depths of blue and causing streaky looking fabric. The yarns are then pulled over steam heated cans or cylinders where drying takes place. The yarns will be monitored to maintain some moisture, known as moisture regain. For cotton, moisture regain is typically 6 to 8 percent. The yarns will then go through a set of stainless steel split rods, which help to separate them into individual sheets, equivalent to the number of section beams in the creel. This ensures that yarns from one sheet are not adhering to yarns from another sheet. After passing through the split rods, the warp yarns are collected into one single sheet and passed through a comb which helps to separate individual yarns originating from a particular section beam. An expansion comb is used to adjust the width of the sheet of yarns to the loom beam width and to evenly space the yarns. At this point, all the warp yarns are wound onto a single loom beam. Normally, several loom beams are produced from a single set of section beams in the slasher creel. In many denim styles, the size will be left on the fabric and act as a stiffening agent that aids in garment manufacturing.